How do you folks say, Bulge here? Quick video. A guy on another video asked how I do deep engraving, said he was struggling, so I just thought I'd do a quick video and show show you how I how I achieve a bit of deep engraving on uh, aluminium and brass. I have tried a bit of stainless steel as well, that, it does work but it takes a lot longer time. Uh, so this is mainly for brass and aluminium. So you need two important settings, you need your hatch pattern settings and you need your uh, speed and power settings as well. So the first thing to do is load up your design and put a hatch around it. You then need to apply two hatch patterns. So we've got a hatch one, which will be uh, there anyway and apply. So you need that at 45 degrees and you need that hatch pattern. Line distance is 0 0.02. Okay, so that's your first one. And your second hatch pattern, click that number two, press apply. And then you need minus 45 degrees same hatch pattern and the same line distance there okay so one and two are exactly the same apart from 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees make sure you do the hatch pattern I found this has given me the best coverage over an area and uh, the the more smoother engrave as well it takes a little bit longer but uh, you get some really nice results so that's that section done <clears throat> The next uh, thing you need to do is click off the default and change these settings. Now you need to do a lot of passes with a lot of power when you're deep engraving. So we've got this set at the mark loop of 10, speed 500, we can actually ramp that up a bit so we'll try, I don't know, 800, power 95, and mine's a 30 watt machine so frequency 30. Okay so when we're happy with those settings we hit the go button. So what you're going to hear is you're going to hear a nice deep crackling burning sound as the laser eats into it. If the machine is out of focus you'll get quite a soft sound. So the, the more ferocious, if that's the right word, the sound, the more uh, energy is going into that uh, piece of metal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop talking for a bit because you won't hear me over the, uh, the sound of this. I'm going to raise and lower the head as it goes and you'll see the difference between um, the, 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 when it's right and when it's out of focus. Right, so that's quiet now, so you should be able to hear me. Now that's out of focus, now I'm going to put it back into focus and you'll hear the difference in sound. And then going back out of focus. So what, so what you're aiming for is this sound. So you heard that sound and the more, like I said, the more ferocious the sound, the deeper or the the more energy is going into that metal. So it's all a bit of trial and error. So if you find you're getting a weak sound, raise or lower your head a bit. If you're, well, if you've got a similar system to me, I've got two dots which line up. If they're not exactly on focus, you'll get that discrepancy in sound. So there's some uh, deep engraving I did before. It's not particularly deep, but it's deep enough to get them paint in there and brush back. The brass takes a lot longer because obviously it's a lot, um, it's a lot harder metal than aluminium. But uh, aluminium works really well and it does very quick as well. I have tried it on steel and stainless steel. Again, it takes a lot longer, uh, so you'll need to do a lot more mark loops. The other thing to remember is, the deeper you go, obviously your focus point is going to go. So you'll have to readjust that. So do, I don't know, 10 mark loops, see how the sound is. If it sounds as though the, the sound is quieting down again, it's obviously going out of focus. So you'll need to just jog your head down just very slightly until you get that uh, nice aggressive sound again. So I hope that's helped. Remember guys, you need two hatch patterns. You need your hatch one and two enabled, this pattern, 45 and minus 45 on hatch 2 
line distance 0.02 over here try with 10 to start with speed 800 power as much as you can and uh, 30 on your 30 watt machine so these are all just general guides so you could do more mac loops uh, mark loops a higher speed even and uh, see how you go it's all a bit of an experiment but that's a little start point for you hopefully you can get some nice deep engraving and once you've brushed that back with a pad it really it's fantastic you can get some uh, paint in there and you get some really nice designs going cheers guys see ya